receiving teachers and students and 6E and for those who are watching this program thank you for joining us good thank you you may sit down please be seated all right let's fold our hands together we are going to play a small game receiving students are you ready I will be saying the name of an object fold the arms and you will tell me, when I call the name of an object, you will tell me if it is natural or man-made. Those are the two answers you are going to give me. Let's try the first one. Fish. OK. We'll have Robert. Robert, fish. Nature. Natural. It is natural. Biscuit. What is biscuit? Receiving student. Man made. It is man made. Thank you. Okay, this time. Bicycle. Man made. Good. The flag. PNG flag. Man made. Okay. Hibiscus flowers. Natural. Very good. Sugar that you drink in your Man cup made. of tea. Man made. Air that you breathe. Natural. Nature. Okay, nature, natural. Very good. Thank you. All these are natural and man-made materials. Look at materials, some materials yesterday, and we classified them into our groups. Now have a look at that classification diagram that you have drawn in your last lesson. Okay. Do you have that in front of you? The diagram that you did in your last lesson. Receiving students, you should have also the diagram. Your diagram that you did in your last lesson. Look at the diagram and list down or discuss with your and friends, you and your friends, the similarities and the differences. This group is about to give the answer. Okay, good. This group is ready. Okay, Carol? Ah. Wow. Shopena. Could you explain? How is Shopena different or how is it's similar to the groups that you have made. Because it is a blade that sharps pencil, but others don't have. Well, others don't have that. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. The groups that we made, 
have similarities and differences. If you look at your groups that you have on your diagram, the similarity about them is they are all, yeah, of course they are different, each small group is different, but all these are used for one purpose. All your groups that you have classified, for example, let me look at Uvaus. Uvaus group, they have one group and what is the use of all these things? They are all stationary, good. That is the similarity of that. They, you use them for your schoolwork. These groups that you have made are similar because they have the same or similar purpose, the same use. That is why you group them under stationary for Uvaus group. Thank you. Now, that will lead us to our topic for today, taking up mass and space. Everything that you have looked in our last lesson and the previous lessons, we looked at materials. What do you think takes up space? Give me something, an example of a substance or material that takes up space or takes or has mass or has weight, let's say weight. An object that has weight and can take space, take up space. Minol? Oh, good. Wow. Wow has his first stand up. Thank you, Wow. Water. Water. Water has weight and it can take up space. Do you think water has weight? Yes. Any others? Jordan, thank you, Jordan. Stone. 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 The last one will have a girl. Sugar. Sugar has mass or weight and can take up space. So our question for today, what is matter? What do you think matter is? What is matter? Okay, since you're discussing, I'll give you a few moments to discuss and then I'll have some answers. In your own words, explain it in your own words. Or? Physical substance or material. Physical substance or material. Okay, O has said physical substance or material. Thank you, Oa. Any others? What is matter? Mr. students, you can tell your teacher and make a list of what you think matter is. Okay, Minol. Something to do or think about. Something to do or think about. Sorry, to do. Or is that the answer? Okay, very good, thank you. Right, we'll have those two answers. And we'll go, in this activity, in this lesson, you will find out what matter is. 
All right, we have two activities which we will go through. Let's have a look at the first activity. Our first activity, we will discuss if the materials that we have can be weighed and can take up space. So, this is the table that you will be using. This is the table that you will be using. That's the first one, and second one, second activity or second part of the activity we'll be doing, we'll be looking, we'll be testing out if, if water does take up space, like one of our answers. All right, this is the table. In your groups, place all the things that you were asked to bring. I will also display some things that we looked at yesterday. I have five substances. The first one that our friend poured is the salt in the little container. We have the coffee mug, or we normally say cup. And the next one is the engine oil, or it is used for the motor. So it is the motor oil. And we have a glass of tea. Tea bag, a glass of tea, a cup of tea, and we have glue. So these are the five things I will list on the table, for example, and as first part of the activity, and you will go through it. You will discuss in a group. So the first one is. Tell me what the first one is. Salt. Okay. Salt. Second. Okay. What's the next one? <laughs> the pot. OK, let's say glass of tea, because it's in a glass. And the fifth one? OK, in your groups, discuss whether it can be weighed, and if it takes up space, can it take up space, and you decide the last one? Is it solid, liquid, or gas? You may start. Your time starts now, eight minutes. And discuss with your friend. And you see, I have two spa we have two spaces on the chat. Maybe you can add some from that, add on to the list of the table with some of the things that, some of the substance and you have brought from home. So very good, this group has brought some things. They can put that, add it down on their list. Thank you for bringing those things. Ten minutes left for. Mm. Fast, fast, fast. 
Very good. One group are discussing and they have listed, completed almost two and going down to three and four. Which one are they going for? Coffee mug or there's no coffee? There's no coffee. There's no coffee. There's no coffee mug. What do you call it? on what?
You did everything yesterday. You can add, those of, those of you who are finished, you can add, uh, add two or three of, from the list that you have made from the last lesson or from, right, from the substance that you have brought for the lesson. So we have five, you can add two more or three more onto it. Can add this. Uh, this is already, this one wasted. Okay, so you can add it, add on to your list. I have five, but you can add on to your list. Good. I'll show it, or mother will show it to us, or who will show it to us for the last time. One minute remaining. Okay, we are finished now. Let's look at our table. Could I have a volunteer? Thank you, Vanessa. First item we have, salt. Can salt be weighed? You have discussed in your groups. Can we weigh salt or can salt be weighed? Yes? Okay, yes, you write the word yes. Vanessa, for the class. Let us check, those who wrote, anyone who wrote no? Did you write? Okay. Where's the mic, where's the mic, the mic? Does the salt take up space? Does it take up space? Okay, the salt takes up space. Anyone with a different answer? Okay, it looks like everybody, yes. Vanessa, fill in the table as we go through. Next one, is it solid? Is the salt solid, liquid, or gas? Solid. It is solid. It is solid with fine, Small crystals. If you pour it onto your hand, you can feel that it is like little stones. So it is a solid. It's salt crystals are solid. Okay. Let's 
have over to read out the first one, what his group said about coffee mug. Can be weighed, yes. Can be weighed, yes. Speak loud and fast. Does it take, does it take up space? No. Is it solid, liquid, or gas? Okay. Okay, next group. Engine, engine oil. Can be weighed, yes. Does it take up space? Yes. I just check. Liquid. It is a liquid. Okay, thank you. Right, check yes, we have engine oil, it takes up space. Uh, it can be weighed and it takes up space and it is a liquid. The next one. Glass of tea. Yes, it can be weighed. A glass of tea can be weighed. Does it take up space? Yes. It does take up space, yes. It is liquid. liquid. And it is a liquid. Thank you. We'll have the last one, the glue. Can be weighed. Yes. Speak loud. Yes. Yes, what? Solid. It is solid. Glue is solid. All right, let's go through our answers. Our table. Thank you, Vanessa. We said salt. Let's have a look at salt. Salt can salt can be weighed. Yes. Yes. If you weigh only salt, only salt, salt can be weighed. But salt. So it is yes, it takes up space, and it is a solid. Salt crystal is a solid. If you feel it, it is hard, it is solid. Coffee mug. Let's look at the coffee mug, or sometimes you call it the cup. This cup here, or solid, can be weighed. Yes, it can be weighed. Can it take up space? No. You sure? Why no? Why it cannot take up space? If we had 10 of them, 10 of them and put it into your bag, fill your bag with cups, do the cups take up space? Yes or no? Of course, it will take up all the space. Our answer should be, Okay. Yes, and it is a solid. Engine oil, does it, can it be weighed? Yes. Does it take up space? Yes, and it is a liquid. Tea, a glass of tea. We're looking at the tea. It can be weighed, can take up space, and it is a liquid. Glue, yes, it can take up can be weighed, 
take up space, and it is A. Is glue a solid? Class, is glue a solid? Watch. I want to say yes, glue is a solid. OK, is glue a solid? This thing. It is a? Liquid. Some glue come in solids, but the one I have here is liquid. So we are looking at this one. Some we have glue sticks which are solid, but the one we have here is liquid. Mm -hmm. So we'll refer to this one that we are using as liquid. Right, class, the last one. Do air take up space? So let's have a look at it. Fill the tissue and ask, is it dry or wet? Dry. This dry, okay. Put this one into the, into the bottle, right to the bottom. Right down. Okay, this tissue will tell us that if it gets wet, that means water has gone in. Okay, good. At the base of the glass jar is, the, is a tissue, soft tissue. So she will push that glass jar upside down until water covers the top part. So turn the glass upside down. Okay, come to the bucket of water. Just gently push it right down. OK. We'll hold it there for one, I'll count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift it up gently. Okay, don't turn it over. Just keep it there in case the whole thing goes. Shake. Uh -huh. Right. Let's remove the tissue. What did she say the tissue at the first place was? Was it wet or dry? Okay. It was dry. This time, let's feel it. If it is wet or dry, pull it out. Is it wet or dry? Tell the class if it is still wet or still dry, or is it wet? Dry. It is still dry. Why is it dry? Blaka? The air took up the space in the bottle. That's why the tissue was wet. Both and wet. Thank you, Laka, for the answer. You may sit down, thank you. Right, the air took up the space, as Laka said, air took up the space in the glass jar. That is why the tissue is still dry. And that it can be weighed and take up space. Keyword for today is meta. Our next lesson will be on the three stages of meta. Your lesson materials. The materials that you have used in this lesson teaches, or materials that you would prefer to use for the lesson with your class. With that, thank you, receiving teachers, students, and class.